Interesting. Certain. Interesting. Certainly. Interesting that nothing weasel word. Oh, but too much of a shocker. Too unseemly. Ah, an opinion, airborne at last. Class. You call it crass. <laughs> a shilling shocker. Why, why, why? The hugger mugger of a story. The devil do you mean, my dear fellow? You know, you know full well. Explain yourself, sir. Too dark, too secret. Do you not understand you, sir? Am I not clear, sir? Damned if you are. Oh, that murk and mist, or that mired mystery, the low-life labyrinth, the cesspit city. I'd rather there than here, Bournemouth with its bloodless Arcadias. Still miss the old place, don't you, Louis? Dun Eden. Edinburgh. Edinburgh I do detest, with its windstorms and, and dark skies, somewhere I'd never choose to be. Oh, but Louis... Enclave. Voices, I miss the voices, echoing down the streets and alleyways, hard, steel voices. You would have died there, my dear, perished in that, that brutal place, the wind and the, the rain, the damp, freezing mists. Har, the har. He means the mist. I mean the fog, mister. Sea fog, along the Firth of Forth, walls of black, wet Nostalgia for you. The city alive in my head. Louis, one more Edinburgh winter, you would have never survived. Your lungs, Louis. Your lungs. Edinburgh would have killed the you. The city always alive in my head. You would have died in those stone Places, precincts. Places, sounds, smells. Oh, it's putrid. The stench of Edinburgh streets. Perfectly foul. Climbing the heart attack hills. Windy city, wind in my hair, wind in my face. Rain, black rain, hissing against the gray tenements, lashing the pigeon stool statues. Rain, wet and cold and good on my cheeks. Oh, give me Indianapolis. The streets, shining, slick with rain, teeming with folk. Kids gambling on the flagstones, bustling market, shout to the barkers. Squeal of pigs ready for slaughter. And other such casual diversions for the casual visitor. The city, sir. It's a character in my story. Edinburgh isn't mentioned. Any city and every city is an ubiquitous tale. It's a fish story entirely hooked up. So what are you saying, my dear fellow? Story woven from coarse yarn. That I have, I have spent these past three days essaying a penny dreadful. Uh, a shilling shocker. A penny dreadful. Not as cheap as that, Louis. Oh, 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 thank you. Oh, not as base. Black Bess? Knight of the Road? No, Louis, no. Deadwood Dick, perhaps? <laughs> Buffalo Bill? Of course Dick Turpin, not. Barney the Vampire? Uh, you are not in that company. Well, well. The final accolade. Not as low as the dreadful. Not at all. You see? Always too honest with him. Now he'll mope. My tales lack the dark heart of true Gothic. Here comes the self pity. He's so predictable, Robert Louis. Who's waiting to be reminded of the genius that he is and knows he is. Waiting for me to lick him better. Louis, Treasure Island is a masterpiece of Gothic. Well, thank you, dear fellow. I am so reassured. She thinks I'm fooled by her sycophancy. It's not my point, Louis. It's not why I criticize. And what then, mister? You're better than this. Louis, so much better. You pile condescension upon insult, my dear fellow. Far superior. You know full well. Uh, perhaps I have merely discovered my level. Crude, Louis, the way you have told the story. Crude, what, what? First crass, now crude? Indeed. Crass or crude, which is it? Both failings are sadly evident. Well, then, this must be a capital tale. The story is not real, Louis. The public will enjoy it to the nines. The writing lacks your usual veracity. 
literature is not a transcript of life. Literature is the untruth. All stories are lies. All authors are liars. God is merely another fiction. Books and tales are much simpler than our daily doings. Much better organized than this chaos of daily living. All the ugly hours of despond, all the pallid illnesses swallowing me, blood in my spittle, anemones in my flesh to slow down. The words that you have used, Louis, the words are loud. Uh, no romancer. Without delicacy. No writer of Bell Latch. It is vulgar, Louis. Oh, Fanny, my dear fellow. Unrefined. You're as pretty as a lady's novel. The tale is uncooked. 